Red with the Irish Zombie Nation. I'm out here in the mountains. I'm near Lake Roberts in New Mexico. I am camping, hammock camping as you can see, and it's supposed to get cold tonight. I think it's supposed to be in the uh, around like mid 40, something like that. When it gets that cold out and you're in a hammock, you're going to need an underquilt. There's no doubt about it. It doesn't matter. It's not like sleeping on the ground. You got wind convection, it can get very cold. So as you can see, what I have set up here is a DIY underquilt. I'm using a US military poncho liner, also known as a whoopee blanket as my underquilt so much less expensive than if you go out and buy an underquilt i mean you can find some cheap ones out there uh, i used to have one from snug pack that was pretty inexpensive now i think it's over a hundred dollars and these poncho liners you can find these all day through army surplus stores or ebay 40 bucks 50 bucks something like that <clears throat> the one i have has a zipper but it doesn't matter whether you have the zipper or not so in order to make this poncho liner into an underquilt there's a few things you're going to need you're going to need some shock cord, right? Bungee cord, stretchy cord. You're gonna need two carabiners, all right? And you're gonna need four tarp clips. These suckers right here. If you don't know what a tarp clip is, it's this little plastic deal with teeth. You can see right there, just screws, unscrews, screws and tightens. You put your material between there and then you've got a little deal right here to slide like a carabiner cordage through. Very handy. You can pretty much hang a tarp in any configuration you want using these things. What I've done with it, I'm going to bring you a little closer over here and show you. All you need are these simple items that would run you less than $10 probably in order to turn your U.S. military poncho liner into an underquilt. So let me take you over here and show you what I did. Thanks for joining me. So this is very simple. It's easy to do. And this isn't going to be a very long tutorial because of that. So as you can see, I've got some tarp clips. I've got one here and I've got one there attached to my poncho liner. I've got some shot cord tied off to there coming up through the carabiner and over to this other tarp clip. The carabiner is attached to my cinch buckle. Now, depending on what type of hammock you have, maybe you don't have cinch buckles. You're gonna have to figure this out based off of your hammock. You're gonna have to figure out also the width that you want right here so it covers up under your hammock. You don't want it, if I was to attach this to the very edge of the edges of the poncho liner and not had bundled it up, it would have been sagging real low underneath here and then I would have gotten some cold air under there. You want it up under your hammock with a little bit of a gap so the warmth from your body is trapped between the hammock and the underquilt. So, carabiner, let's just put this up here for a second. So like I said, bundle it up, take your tarp clip, slip it through, tighten it down, and then you've got both of these like this, basically with the shock cord attached to both of them. You just take the shock cord and you take your carabiner like that, Take this, attach it up to whatever your suspension is for your hammock or wherever you want to attach it, like that. Up under there, I've got a nice little pocket where I'm gonna trap heat, but I'm not gonna get a lot of wind coming through. Now I have a tarp with doors, so that helps even more. But like I said, you don't want it sagging too low, you don't want it too tight because then it's not gonna provide you any insulation whatsoever. But that's it guys, I mean, that's all you do. You take your military poncho liner, Bundle it up a little bit. For me, I have it wrapped over one, two times. Tarp clip, do it on both sides. Shot cord, carabiner. You just saved yourself, depending on you know, what kind of uh, underquilt you were looking at, you just saved yourself probably at least 50 bucks, probably hundreds of dollars. So very simple. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this quick tutorial. Please like, share, comment down below, be a subscriber, be on the lookout for more videos. I'm gonna record a few more up here. I've got like a heated jacket I'm gonna do. Uh, some other stuff. I don't know what order they're going to come out in, so I should probably just shut up and move on. Anyway, that's it, guys. Uh, thanks for joining me, and until next time, I'll catch you down the road.